Today, there's a very important meeting taking place in Mogadishu, the IGAD meeting. And our president, President Uru Kenyatta, is expected to attend and to address uh, that meeting. So we are requesting the government to use this visit to further appeal to the government of Somalia through that IGAD forum at Mogadishu, you know, so that the ban on Miraf rights can be lifted and so that the trade, the Miraf trade can resume between Kenya and Somalia for the benefit of the Miraf farmers in Meru. Uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Florence Kajuju, is traveling with that delegation uh, just to make sure that our issue is raised you know, when they get to, to, to Mogadishu. So we are again uh, using this public forum, appealing to our government to consider the plight of the people of Meru and to put the Mera agenda on the top of the, the eager talks so that the good relations that exist between Kenya and Somalia can continue. And so that that regrettable incident, the unfortunate trip that was made by the governor of Meru uh, can be ignored, and so that this uh, important trend can continue for our people. The issue of markets for Mira is a county function. It's not a function of the national government. So even as we plead with the president, we were asking him to intervene because our county government has failed to address this very important matter. And because we believe that we have a responsibility as the leaders of Meru, I can make one promise. And the promise I want to make here is that we are going to get a permanent solution for the Mira farmers. The solution may not be known today, but I can tell you, without any fear of contradiction, because next year we'll have an election, and Kreito Murungi will be the next governor of Meru. And because these members of parliament will be elected, we'll sit down and get a permanent solution for the problems that are with the Mira farmers. 